guys, so welcome back. Um, so I have a huge Sephora grass haul for you. Um, these guys have been accumulating for about like the past month and a half or so. Um, I have no idea why, but for some reason we just got a shit ton of stuff this past like couple weeks to a month or so. Uh, but yeah, so I kind of just dumped everything into this kind of little basket here and yeah. So I first had my grad described out around the end of January or so and then at that time I was just kind of like, oh cool, yay, like grad is cool. And then about a week or so after I got that grad described out, I ended up having to go to a color correcting cluster for work, um, just for extra training and stuff. So cluster is pretty much where they select a couple cast members to kind of go and train for some just like further education and stuff, just to kind of get some more elevated training on certain things. Every month before it has a new animation, which means there is a certain focus the company is focusing on that specific month. So like this past month was like all about lips and stuff like that. And then so next month is all about color correcting. And they just wanted us to get like well informed on how to color correct properly and how to educate our clients on that. So, so I got to go to that. And then so we actually had a couple brand reps come in just to kind of educate us on what their brand has to offer as far as like color correction and stuff goes. So some of the stuff is like new products, some of the stuff, is stuff that they already kind of have in their line. So yeah, at the end of the whole cluster, we got a little goodie bag of either some of the new stuff, some of the old stuff, kind of a good mixture of like a bunch of things. So yeah. So after that, I was pretty much like, okay, cool. Like I have a pretty decent amount of stuff to do support grass video. So as I was literally about to do that gratis video, we get another grad described out and I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> and I was like, I just, I just had my grad described out like two weeks ago, like my official grad is from work. Like not, not necessarily like the cluster goodie bag or anything like that. But yeah, I was like, there's more, really? So yeah, that was more. And yeah, so this is pretty much everything from the past couple weeks or whatever of just constant back to back gratis which is cool because it was like Christmas like every week or so. So like I said, I did kind of dump everything into this little basket here. So we will kind of just pull things out and yeah. Because there's so much stuff in this month's gratis video, I'm just gonna go through them really quick. I'm not necessarily gonna like go into like details and specs or whatnot about them, but yeah. If you guys do want a further review on these things, just feel free to leave it in the comment box down below and let me know what you guys want me to review and try out and stuff, so yeah. And then excuse me, I'm just in a kind of comfy hoodie and whatnot. It is raining outside, it's my day off. I just wanna lounge and be relaxed. So yeah, I'm just gonna be in my boyfriend's hoodie. This is actually the hoodie that I wore in my profile picture and I posted on Instagram and stuff too. And I've surprisingly had a lot of people ask me like where I got the hoodie. And I was like, oh, I just got it from my boyfriend's closet, whatever. Um, but now if you guys are interested, it's just a gray hoodie and we got it from H&M. So yeah, just a gray, simple H&M zip up hoodie. Nothing special about it. Okay, so one of the first things I'm gonna pull out in this basket is probably one of the biggest things that I've gotten in this gratis bag, and in my gratis in general, um, and it is the T3 Single Pass 2 Straightener. So I am so excited to have this. Um, funny story about this is that we had a work contest um so whoever sold the most hair products that day got this little goodie bag not a little goodie bag it's a huge goodie bag actually and it had a t3 blow dryer another flat iron and then this flat iron and as i was leaving work i made a huge basket and i swore to god that i won like it was pretty much in the bag and i was so excited um my manager zach pretty much told me that he would call me or text me that night just to tell me if i actually wanted he pretty much thought that i want to and then around like eight or nine o'clock he texts me he's like steph i'm so sorry but you didn't win i was like what how and he's like carrie beat you by four dollars and i was like oh my god um so yeah so i was pretty like uh, about it like four dollars i mean come on carrie ended up winning the contest and good for her i love her she's probably one of my favorite people at work okay, so the next day i came to work and i just like saw her and i was just messing around with her i was like oh my god you won like i'm so mad at you whatever little did i know when i was leaving work that day she was leaving work at the same time i was as well i was taking off my brush belt and i was sticking it back in my little cubby and she shoved the straightener in my cubby with a little note that said surprise on it and i was like 
Like I looked at her because she was like packing up and getting ready to leave too. And I was like, oh my god, Gary! And she's like, yeah, like I mean, I thought you deserve it too. It was four dollars. I mean, we both kind of want it and stuff. So, and there was no point in me having two straighteners. And I was like, ugh. So I gave her a huge hug and stuff. So yeah. So thank you, Carrie, so much for this flat iron. I absolutely love it. It is so gorgeous. It's gold and white and everything I ever want. And yeah. Another huge thing that I got in my gratis this last bag is the Clarisonic Mia 2. So this one is the zebra printed one. I've had this for a while now. Um, and yeah. And the funny story about this guy, um, so the first time the Clarisonic rep came in to train us on the Clarisonic Mia 2 and was giving this out for gratis, I wasn't there at work. So I was pretty bummed out when I heard that everybody got a new Clarisonic because I haven't had owned a Clarisonic before or anything like that. So yeah, pretty bummed. Um, but my best friend and my best work friend, Susie, was there and she was training on it and she ended up getting this guy for gratis. But she already had a Clarisonic at home. And again, my coworkers are so sneaky, I swear to God. So then what ended up happening was she just held on to it, didn't tell me anything, and then come Christmas, I like I get a gift from her and I open it up and it's this guy. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> um, so yeah, so she gifted me this Clarisonic and I'm so grateful for her because I absolutely love it. So yeah, so the Clarisonic rep then came in again to train the people that didn't train the previous time and then to give this out to the people that didn't get it yet as well. Um, so I trained and I ended up getting another uh, one of these little Clarisonic Mia 2s here. And it was in the same print and everything so when I got home I was like, Susie, do you want this Clarisonic that I just got in gratis because you gave me yours for Christmas? And she's like, no, like why? I already have a Clarisonic and I gave you one, like you can do whatever you want with it. And I was like, okay. So what I ended up doing was I just gave the other one to my mom so she'll get a lot of use out of it. She, I, She's always wanted one as well, so yeah. So I hope you're enjoying that, mom. Okay, I think that's enough of like the storytelling and rambling that I'm gonna be doing in this whole entire video. I'm just gonna go through everything as quick as possible. So one of the brands that came in for the cluster that I went to for some extra training was Smashbox. And Smashbox is coming out with um, color correcting sticks. Very, very similar to their contour sticks, but color correcting. So we ended up getting three out of the four of them. So we got the orange, the lavender, and then the green. So orange is gonna correct any darkness and purpley, dark blue tones. Purple is gonna, or lavender I guess, is gonna correct any like yellowy, like jaundice looking things. And then the green is gonna correct any redness. So yeah, so you can use these guys wet or dry. Um, and yeah, so I'm really excited to try these guys out. The fourth color is a lighter peachier color for dark circles for fairer skin as well. But yeah, um, so we got these guys and I'm very, very excited to try that out. Also from Smashbox, I ended up getting their Photo Finish Primer Oil. Um, so if you guys are familiar at all, they have their primer water, so this is going to be their primer oil. So this one's better for anyone with like super, super dry skin. It also works great for anyone that just wants a really nice, pretty glow underneath their foundation. Um, they showed us the trick on this at the cluster where they apply the primer oil to half of the model's face and then the, I believe it was the photo finish regular primer on the other half of the face. The side with the primer oil underneath of it had such a beautiful like glow, it was ridiculous. So if you guys just want just a little boost of glow to your skin, Smash Off Primer Oil is absolutely amazing. For some reason my Soro held a lot of contests this past like couple weeks at work and we were having like a skincare contest for a while for the month of January just because that was the month that we were focusing on skincare. Um, so we had to sell a certain amount of skincare items and stuff and then if we hit that amount then we get a raffle ticket and we throw it in the basket. They kind of take a draw from it and I won one of the days. So what I ended up getting was a ton of Kate Somerville stuff. So I'll just go through those guys real quick. So I got the Kate Somerville Cytosol Dermal Energizing Treatment. So it's gonna be this guy right here. Um, so this is just kind of a moisturizer treatment type of thing. I'm not entirely familiar with the Kate Somerville line so I'm really excited I get to try these guys out. Got the Kate Somerville Cytosol P299 Oil-Free Anti-Aging Wrinkle System. So this guy right here. We got the Kate Somerville Quench Oil-Free Hydrating Face Serum. So it was in the white bottle. And then the Kate Somerville Clarified Treatment Toner. So got a good, good size of these guys right here. So these are all full size products. Kate Somerville isn't a super cheap brand whatsoever. So these guys I believe run like over $60 each, except for the toner. I think the toner is like about 30 or something like that. Don't quote me. Um, but yeah, so really awesome. Excited to try. 
And then Kate Somerville sent the whole cast a piece of gratis here, and it is the Kate Somerville Pro Strength Wrinkle Remedy. Um, so this is their Dermal Quench Liquid Lift Line. So this is the one that has retinol in it. The other one that they have, I believe, comes in the like gray, silvery like tube. Not tube, canister or whatever. So it's just this little guy right here, and you kind of just like spray it directly on your face. Um, I'm gonna need to do a little bit more research on this because I am not exactly sure what it does. I mean, it tells you everything on the box right here for us at least, so we can do our research. But yeah, so we got that. Bare Minerals was also another brand that was at the Color Correcting Cluster. Um, so from them, we just got a little goodie bag of stuff. So I got. The Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil. This one is in light to medium. So this one's gonna be more of like my like deep within the winter winter shade or even used for like the dry or something like that. Um, but yeah, cause I typically use a medium for my skin. And yeah. So I've actually been using my original one which is in medium and I absolutely love this powder. So it's a good powder. I also got another one of the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. You guys know I absolutely love this concealer. If you guys haven't tried this guy out yet, do try it out. It's very, very comparable to the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. So if you guys can't find your shade in that guy, take a look at this one. It's damn near identical. I personally like this one a little bit better because it doesn't have that weird like white out scent that the Urban Decay one does. That really bothers me, but yeah. So I got this one in medium, which is my shade. Bare Minerals also gave us another one of their Dual Finish Blush and Contour Brush. So it's just this guy right here. I haven't actually used this for its purpose yet, which is to kind of use it to contour on one side and then blush on the other side. Um, I've just been using it for highlighting and I really like it like that, but yeah. So this item from Bare Minerals, I am super excited to try out. This is their new Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion. This is gonna be like their serum essence in a way. Um, it's supposed to give you just like a really pretty healthy glow and it's supposed to like help with like the texture of your skin and stuff as well. Um, on the bottle, it says, powered by long life herb, California poppy, and Young ginger extracts. So yeah, so very, very excited to try this guy. So there's a new fragrance line that's launching at Sephora and it is the Derek Lamb 10 Crosby line. So Derek Lamb was awesome enough to give us this little sampler packet of all of his fragrances in the line. And I'm so excited to try them out. I smelled them at work already and they are absolutely amazing. Um, so it comes in, little tiny vials and stuff like this. Um, so we get all 10 of them. So each fragrance is pretty much inspired by the 10 Crosby Street in New York, which is where he lives, I believe. Um, so he was just inspired by like all the things that were going on around there and stuff. So yeah, um, these scents are unisex, so both men and women can wear them. Um, None of them I've actually felt like seem too masculine or too feminine, so yeah, definitely unisex. You can also obviously mix and match them and stuff too and kind of create your own little cocktail, but yeah. So, Derek Lamb 10 Crosby. From Marc Jacobs, we got the new Velvet Noir Volumizing Mascara. I'm so excited to try this guy out. This is the new Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. I've been using this a lot on clients, so anytime I have an appointment or whatever, I have been using this guy exclusively just because it gives such great volume to the lashes and it just makes them look so nice. Um, so the brush looks like that. It has that similar hourglass shape to the Too Faced Born Than Sex Mascara. Um, the main difference I just find that between this one and the Too Faced one is that this one doesn't clump as bad as Too Faced one does. Um, but yeah, so if anybody out there that loves how the Too Faced one makes your lashes look but feels like it gets a little bit too clumpy, try this guy out. Another line that was at the color correcting cluster that I went to was Cover Effects. So Cover Effects is coming out with these little color correcting like stick thingies. Um, we unfortunately didn't get that in glass, but we did get a couple of things from them that is already in their line. Not necessarily for color correcting or anything like that, but still very, very nice to have. So one of the things from Cover Effects that we got is the custom infusion drops, and this one is in the A plus Jasmine anti-aging one. So really nice to have. I already have the lemongrass um, one that's for radiance, so I'm really, really excited to try this one out as well. Coverfix also gave us their contour brush, so their double-ended contour brush here. So we have a little smaller end and then a more wider end to kind of fluff out and blend out the contour. So yeah, very excited to try this guy out. Um, I do have the Anastasia Cream Contour Pad, but I never ever use it. 
I don't know why. I think it's just mainly because I don't really want to get like a ton of my brushes dirty. So maybe we'll try it with this guy and see how that works. So Lanka was also at the color correcting cluster as well. And they again taught us some of their new color correcting stuff that is coming out pretty soon here. So again, we didn't get any of those just because those aren't released yet. Um, but we did get a couple of little goodies from Lancome here as well. So from Lancome, we got the Lancome Taunt Needle Ultra Stick. So this is the Taunt Needle Stick version, I guess. Um, but yeah, so we put in our order, I guess, for our color a while ago, and I wasn't expecting this for a while. Um, and yeah, so she ended up bringing whoever was at the cluster their um, stick in their shade early before anybody at our stores ended up getting them. So yeah, so. I'm really very curious about this. I played around with it in the back of my hand and it's more like a powderier finish. Um, you guys know my love for my Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick. Um, this one doesn't really feel like that. This one's a little bit more matte, I feel like, and it dries out a little bit more lightweight and powdery. Um, the Lancome prep actually said that you're not supposed to like physically put it directly onto your face, which is kind of weird because you would kind of assume that a stick foundation you would wipe it on your face, right? Um, but she said you're supposed to actually just kind of either like put it onto a mixing palette or use a brush directly onto it and then apply. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how that works. Speaking of mixing palette, she ended up giving us this really cute long comb taunt needle stick mixing palette here and I love this. This is totally going in my kit. Um, I have one from Makeup Forever that they gave us a while ago, but I really do love this one. This one just has like a nice like weight to it. The quality of it feels really really nice and it again it has this little thumb hole so you can like kind of hold and whatnot so it makes my life a little easier when I'm working on clients. But yeah so we got a little mixing palette. Also got a couple minis from Lancome. We got a little tiny guy of the Lancome Hypno Strama Mascara which I've gotten in the past before and then also a mini Lancome Advanced Genifique Serum which is probably one of my favorite serums of all time. So another thing from Lancome, we got this little guy in when they were in for a brand focus day. Um, so it was when they were training us on a couple things here and we ended up getting the Lancome Visionaire Nuit Beauty Sleep Perfector. So this is supposed to be a gel and oil moisturizer sleep mask or something, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, so I'm really excited to try this guy out just because I did have some co-workers already try it and they absolutely love it, so yeah. From Carez, I got the Carez Wild Rose Exfoliating Cleanser. I'm very, very excited to try this guy out. This one's supposed to be exfoliating and brightening for the skin and also hydrating as well. So a couple things from Bite Beauty. We got one of their matte creme lip crayons in Blanc. This is just a white one. Um, so this is meant to kind of like create any ombres or whatnot, or if you want to lighten up a color and stuff. So kind of just be creative with this. And if you really want to, you can just wear it white straight up if you're really that adventurous. But yeah, so we got that guy. The other thing that we got is their new Amuse Bouche, Bouche, Bouche um, lipstick. And this one is in the color Molasses. So I'm so excited for this. Like this is totally my color. Um, it's picking up a little more red on camera, I think, but it is totally like just a really pretty like milk chocolate color and I absolutely love it. From Buxom, aka Bare Essentials, Bare Minerals, whatnot, um, we got one of their Bold Gel Lipsticks. This is in Poison Nectar. So again, kind of, kind of my color. It's that kind of like nudie type of pinkyish color. Um, this one has a little more coral in it actually. Uh, but yeah, so again, this is probably gonna be like my summer nude. For Ola Henderson, we got a tiny little thing of their Truth Sugar Glow Polishing Mask. So this was to deeply cleanse, smooth, and brighten the skin. Um, I'm very excited to try this guy out because I've never actually tried out Ola Henderson's stuff except for like their eye creams and whatnot and their Truth Serum. Uh, but yeah, so I'm very excited to try this out. A couple little things from Algenus. We got a couple things from their new Power line. Um, so we got the Power Advanced Wrinkle Fighter Moisturizer, which is this little tub right here. And then we also got the Power Advanced Wrinkle Fighter Serum, which is this little guy right here. So moisturizer and serum. Um, so the Power line is exclusive to Sephora, so you guys won't be able to find it anywhere else but Sephora, I believe. From Bobbi Brown, we got a little guy of their new eye-opening mascara. So this little tube is just absolutely adorable. Um, so yeah, so this guy has a really fat, really fat brush. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of like the packaging for like this little tiny size guy because I feel like the brush is so close to the actual handle that it's like kind of hard to kind of get in there and whatnot. But yeah. From First Aid Beauty, I got the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum, so just a little tiny 
YouTube with this guy to try it out. So from my favorite skincare line ever, we got the Fresh Block Tea Aged Delay Cream. So we just got a little tub of him right here. Um, so I absolutely love the Black Tea line. The Black Tea um, Overnight Mask is personally one of my favorite things in the world. Um, and yeah, so this is just their cream. So their moisturizer now. So I'm very excited to try this guy. So from Dior, we got their new Fix It 2-in-1 Prime and Conceal for face, eyes, and lips. So this this little guy right here. So it comes in pretty much the exact same packaging as the Dior Addict Lipstick. So it just kind of pops out like so. And then you get the product right there. So as you can see, there is a concealer around the outside and then the little um, center is, I believe, the primer. Um, but yeah, so you're supposed to be able to use it on your face, eyes, and your lips. So we'll see how that works out. So from Bubble and Bubble, we got their new BB Curl Primer. So they had a curl line out in the past and then they took it out and then they reformulated it or rebranded it or whatever and so now they have their curl line back again. Um, so this is just their primer. So you guys already know my love for the Bumble Bumble Hairdresser Invisible Oil Primer. And so yeah, so all their primers are pretty good. Um, I just, I'm just very curious on how this one's gonna work on my hair because this one is meant for curly hair, but we'll see. So from Urban Decay, I got their Naked Lip Gloss. So this is in the color Liar. So this guy is nothing new. It's been out for a while. I've just never had a chance to try it out. Um, I definitely was looking at it when they first came out and I was like, I need all of them, but never got to it. Um, but yeah, so I ended up getting the color Liar, which is totally my color. It's just kind of a muted, dusty pink. So the last couple items that I got in here is from Laura Mercier. So I got their Laura Mercier Lip Parfait. And this is in the color Sinful, which is totally my color. Um, she let us choose what colors we want and stuff. So it was between this one and then I forgot. There was like another one that was like raspberry or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so obviously I had to go for the more Kylie, mauve nude, brown, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to try these guys out. They're super, super creamy, super comfortable on the lips and they're absolutely amazing. So the last and final thing is the new Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. Um, so I'm very excited to try this guy out. This is probably going to be my go-to foundation for like spring and summer. My best friend and co-worker Susie absolutely loves this foundation, like raves about it. Um, so hopefully it works out for me. I really really hoping this because i really really truly want to love this product but it feels really nice when i swatched it and stuff like that it looks really great on the people that i've used it on at work and stuff so yeah so i hope i like this one on my skin yeah and i got it in the color dusk if any of you guys are wondering so that is everything that i got in this last round of gratis um yeah, I don't know what else to say. I have like everything laid out in front of me on like a little table just so I didn't have to like throw them around everywhere. And this is very overwhelming. Um, so I have like a crap ton of new stuff to try out. So yeah, like I said, if there's any products that I got that you guys are very interested in like me reviewing or anything like that, please let me know um, and I'll do a video on it when I get the chance to. And yeah. So if you guys made it through the entire video, I truly thank you for sitting through this huge long video. I'm gonna try to condense this down as like as much as possible for you guys that way it's not like a 40 minute long video or anything like that but yeah and again if you guys haven't subscribed to me on instagram already please subscribe it's gonna be at stephanie tran mua if you want to subscribe to me on twitter as well to see my inner workings and my inner thoughts it is gonna be at stephanie with three e's and then tran and that is pretty much it for the video thank you guys again so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye